So I'm a little bit early for a uh, end of quarter market update for 2022, but I think the timing is really uh, quite fitting for me to do a little bit of an update right now to tell you how things have gone for January and February. And this isn't news. Everybody has read and seen in the news that housing prices are skyrocketing. Uh, there's no inventory or low inventory um, and that it's almost impossible to buy a house if, if that's the market that you're in. And so over the last week, what we've seen is a real slowdown in the number of showings and the number of offers on properties. Um, this is mostly due, I think, to the uh, recent increase in the, uh, in the lending rate, which has gone up by 50 basis points. Um, and that's caused a lot of people to sort of take a pause and see how that's gonna not just affect their borrowing capacity, but also what's gonna, how it's gonna affect the market overall. And at the exact same time as they were doing that, a lot of houses were coming onto the market. So we've seen a real influx of new listings that have come onto the market uh, that's filling some of that demand for the people that are ready to buy that are maybe locked in on a rate. And so um, we've seen a lot fewer showings and we've seen fewer offers being presented uh, on offer nights and some houses are actually missing their offer night altogether and maybe selling uh, you know maybe a day or two or three after the fact. There are pockets in the city that are really really hot um, and there are individual buildings if you're looking at a condo that remain really really hot and there are other ones maybe not so much. So if you are in the market um, we are seeing, I, don't, I hate to call it a slowdown, but uh, a little bit of a pause from a lot of buyers and it gives people an opportunity to get into the market with less competition or no competition at all. Um, and it would also give you the opportunity to uh, negotiate a price. We've seen some sold conditionals. So people are actually winning conditional offers, conditional on financing, conditional inspection, conditional on status certificate if you're buying a condo. Um, so now is a good time. This is what opportunity looks like in the city of Toronto. And I know it's crazy uh, because the prices are still very, very high. But, um, you know, in every time we've seen one of these slight slowdowns, it's followed by fewer listings coming onto the market and prices continuing to go up. So if you are in the market and you are pre-approved, now would be a good time.